I've said before that no character in Mortal Kombat is bad. Sure, some characters are less good, but literally no character is bad in Mortal Kombat 1. There's always going to be the best characters and the worst characters, but you really can win with anybody in this game. And today, I found the perfect example for you. A $5,000 tournament that shook the entire internet. Sonic Fox versus Javier. I'm sure most of you watching already know who Sonic Fox is, one of the best Mortal Kombat players to ever live. But how about Javier? Who is Sonic Fox's opponent in this tournament? Well, Javier is also a very talented player, but he uses Scorpion. In fact, he's the number one Scorpion player in the world. That's right, Javier plays the worst character in Mortal Kombat 1 and is still winning very consistently at the tournament level. Which is already impressive, but keep in mind the opponent is Sonic Fox, and he's playing Sindel and Kung Lao, a very powerful team to be sure. So literally, one of the best players in the world world is using one of the best teams in the game. But like I mentioned earlier, this match shocked the world. So without any further ado, let's witness this historic battle, and I'll explain the many factors that led to its incredible conclusion. Alright, and here we go. How is the match gonna start? Oh, immediately Striker catches Sonic Fox whiffing a normal with Sindel, and here comes the combo. Nothing crazy in terms of damage, but boy does it look flashy, and it leaves the opponent right in his face. Guaranteed chip damage, Striker keeps Scorpion safe. Ooh, got the whiff punish, but didn't believe, didn't believe. That's okay, still safe. Sonic Fox going for pressure now, ooh, but Javier backs up. Javier says, no, I don't want to deal with that 50-50 mix-up from Sindel and Kung Lao. It's ridiculous. Ooh, getting pushed, getting knocked all the way closer and closer to the corner. And Stryker did not save the day, but lands a YOLO neutral. That was epic. That was pretty epic. Once again, the combo commences. I don't think Sonic Fox got a single combo yet this round. Ooh, knocks him off, though. And here it comes. No! Javier says, no, I'm not going to deal with the mix-up. I'm going to jump back and teleport. How smart. And then gets the low Hellfire. I don't think that was even the meter burn. I think that was regular Hellfire. It just caught Sonic Fox trying to press. I don't think Sonic Fox is used to a character that controls this much of the screen. Now, keep in mind, without Striker, all of this stuff that Scorpion's doing is unsafe on block. He needs Striker. Or at least some cameo that keeps him safe. Okay, zoning. Sindel can always zone. And she can throw projectiles while in the air. But look at that. Javier catching his feet again. Closing the gap. And here comes like a third combo. Sonic Fox still has not landed a single combo this match. Crazy. Okay, guaranteed chip. Striker keeps him safe. Ooh, he even presses buttons. That's crazy. Because if Javier was even slightly off with the timing, then he would get beat there. But he's so confident in his plus frames with Striker. He's confident in his timing. That's epic. Ooh, I love that. I love the instant air EX teleport into neutral jump. That's so sick. Into a jump attack, I should say. Ooh. Okay, Sonic Fox not going quietly. Not going quietly. Ooh, double throw. Let's go. Two for the price of one. The double throw special. Loving it. In the corner, too. Multiple times, Sonic Fox has pushed Javier to the corner. What's going to happen? Keeps him still. Plus frames. Sonic Fox tries to jump and gets caught. No, the ad. The ad option selected. Got me. No, not Pizza Hut. Dang it. That was an epic ending, too. I'm going to rewind a little bit. The ad caught me off guard. Okay, here we go. Sonic Fox tries to jump. Gets caught trying to jump away. And then look at this. The unblockable. The EX Hellfire is unblockable, and again, I think Sonic Fox is not used to this matchup. He was not ready for the Scorpion unblockable, because how many times do you see Tournament Scorpion? Let's be honest, you may see him online in Combat League, but in a tournament, Scorpion is super rare. So Sonic Fox not ready for the unblockable Hellfire to seal the deal, and more combos being landed by Javier, the man just doesn't stop, he's a machine! I, I love that, that back three just keeps, again, caught him with the spear. I don't think Sonic Fox is ready for a character that can just control the entire screen like this. Now once again, without Striker, it's all extremely risky. But that just shows what a great player Javier is. Now finally a Sonic Fox combo, let's go. Sonic Fox in there. Uh, go for the reset. Oh, gets caught by the armor. Ooh, Sonic Fox wanted to go for a hard to block there. A really tough combo started to block, but Javier just said, no, I'm gonna armor. I'm getting out of here. And Scorpion's armor attack's not bad. He goes forward across the screen. It's pretty quick. Ooh, catches him with the throw. Perfect. That was awesome. Hit stun recovered just in time. Ooh, ooh, catching him all the time. Sonic Fox getting caught pressing a lot of buttons is actually what's happening here. Jumping back, resetting neutral. Javier is so smart to run away. 
and constantly avoid this situation right here, which still happens anyway. Let's be real. It's Sonic Fox and it's Sindel. Here we go. Here's the next. Oh, there it is. The hard to blockable. Sonic Fox can barely delay his jump in and make it a low overhead or go early with the jump in and make it an overhead low. Super hard to block. Ridiculously frustrating. And that's a Sonic Fox round we're used to seeing. Completely dominant. Corners the opponent and then just makes them beg for life. Constantly trying to escape from hell, man. That was crazy. Ooh, catches his feet and that doesn't knock down. That's crazy. Just a full combo there off the Kung Lao hat if he didn't have Breaker. That's nuts. But that's why you want to save up meter against a character like Sindel. She's set play. I love that. That's so great. Just plus frames into buttons and it worked? Let's go. Oh, wow. Ugh. Getting the maximum damage possible with just Scorpion? Pretty epic. Let's go. Once again, safe on block. Oh, smart. So smart from Sonic Fox to avoid the low that way. Man, Javier, once again, like, it's so smart to keep resetting space like this and never let Sonic Fox set up the mix-up. Oh, plus frames, gotta jump back. Oh, still got caught. Oh, it missed. It missed. Whoo. That could have been bad. That could have been really bad. Keep in mind, this is the last round. This is the game point right here, baby. And again, Javier just running back, waiting for that god tier with punish to come. Okay, Kung Lao's gone for a little bit, but the throw, yep, Sonic Fox knows what he's doing. The throw is back now, the cameo's back. Ooh, blocks it. Oh, that's so crazy that Striker can just come in during your block pressure like that. That's awesome. That's so strong. Striker's so good. What? Striker top three? <laughs> Kung Lao's top one, though, so not saying much there. Ooh, just goes for it. Just goes for the spear. Back three? I, I knew the back three was coming, man. You watch enough Scorpion players, you know when that back three is coming. I don't think Sonic Fox is ready for it. I think he's trying to react instead of predict. And the timer ran out. I wasn't even watching the timer. Were you guys watching the timer? I totally forgot to keep track of the clock. Oh my goodness. And the fatality to seal the set. My goodness. A great gameplay performance from both Sonic Fox and Javier. That was absolutely epic. And there you have it, everyone. This set came down to the wire. The last match possible. And even then, it was still close. But at the end of the day, it proves that you can play any character you want to in this game and still stand a chance. Even if your opponent is one of the best players to ever use a Mortal Kombat that character, you stand a chance of winning as long as you master the character that you love. And that's because there's so many factors that go into winning in a fighting game. It's not just the character, it's the matchup and your opponent's matchup knowledge of your character. Even if the person you're playing is one of the best in the world, they may not have much experience playing against your character, especially if your character is the worst in the game. And that's simply because most people aren't using your character. Nobody wants to play the worst character in the game, but that's actually an advantage for you because it means your opponent doesn't fight your character very often. Sometimes that can play a really big factor, but on top of that, don't forget Javier is the number one ranked Scorpion player in the world. So even though he is using the worst character in the game, he's also the downright best player to use that character. Which is exactly what I said earlier. If you truly do master your favorite character in a fighting game, then you can win consistently. Trust me, Javier is proof. However, unfortunately, there was a bit of drama after this set concluded. Javier made a little joke about Sonic Fox on Twitter saying he was not ready for Lopian, which is short for low tier Scorpion. And Sonic Fox did not like this joke one bit. He immediately pointed out how laggy their match was. Almost 300 ping at several points, which of course is going to lead to lag during a match. However, many players rushed to Javier's defense and pointed out that lag in a match is always going to affect both players. It's never just one-sided. And to his credit, Javier has offered to play Sonic Fox in person if he flies out to his country and they can have a good old money match that way. Which would be awesome, let's be real, Sonic Fox definitely has the money to afford such a trip, and I think it could be really hype. Sonic Fox also mentioned how he's defeated players that gave Javier a hard time, which I honestly think doesn't mean much at all, because Manny Pacquiao was destroying everybody that gave Floyd Mayweather a tough time, but later on, when the two boxers finally fought each other, Pacquiao lost, and Floyd Mayweather was the winner, so I don't think it really matters if you can beat somebody's opponents. But as you all know, I love making these videos interactive, so let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. How was Javier able to defeat Sonic Fox in this match? Was it actually the lag, or did Sonic Fox just not have much matchup experience against Scorpion? Or could it be that Javier is simply such a great player that he can overcome any tier list? He's so good with Scorpion that it doesn't matter who his opponent is. Like I keep saying in all my videos, I truly do read each and every comment, so grab that keyboard and make your voices heard. And then while you're down there, leave a like if you enjoyed the video. It really does help my channel out a ton, and then 
finish that combo by subscribing and ringing that bell so you never miss any future videos. Make sure to come back next time, and as always, stay underdogs.